If you are filming, I, I, I better not be on the film. I do not give permission for me to be on. I'm not supposed to be federal, in here. This is a federal building. I thought once inside a federal building, you no. know. This is the First Amendment. For you, you had the First Amendment to report. Wiretap. Wiretap was free. They don't want you here. Okay, they called for our assistance. Okay. Okay. Apparently, just serving the customers. Are you refusing or not? I'm refusing? not refusing to, to leave. Okay. What's up, Pata fam? This video comes to us courtesy of Not the End of Freedom, and we found the tyrant. So, this Corporal Kish. Kishel, num badge number 183 with the Hazleton City Police Department is the very first interaction that Mario had with the tyranny that is down there in that city. This is what uh, prompted him to become a cop watcher and now a actual First Amendment auditor was the treatment that he received from this officer when he had called them to get help. Um, they showed up and then they uh, didn't like the fact that he was recording them for an incident that he was directly involved with and they attacked him. And obviously if me and you were to do this, if we didn't like the fact somebody was recording us in public, we'd be in jail. But since he's an officer and it's another day at the office, nobody cares. These type of cops are the ones that end up snapping and killing people. These officers that can't control their temper and they, they lose it are a danger. They must be removed from duty because they are a threat to society. They're actually worse than not having a police officer if you have an officer with a gun and authority that can't control his temper. So this guy right here is a problem. So I'll leave the contact information. You can redress your government if you so desire. I've been out here on the road trying to get content. Um, a lot of places I've went to seem to already have been uh, schooled on the First Amendment. So I'm not getting great content for you guys right now. I don't wanna just post up everything I record. Um, so, you know, let me know what you guys think about, you know, that if you want to see past videos, maybe I'll do another channel. Um, but I am out here. I'm actually in Arizona right now. I'm trying to get uh, good footage for you guys. So I'm, I'm working at it, but it's kind of proven difficult right now. So I'm spending a lot of money on gas and fuel to get around, but um, you know, I'll get better. So anyway, uh, check out this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's check it out. You guys have anybody to speak Spanish? Not today. No. He's off today. Oh, he's off. You guys were close yesterday. Didn't I didn't see any sign on the door. I see um, a lot of people coming into. It's actually right on the side, other side of that lady that says um, special deliveries. On the other side is the calendar with the days that were off. Oh yeah. But not not the one uh, to come in from the from the outside from the street. No, because people were still allowed to come in and get mail from their PO boxes. Oh really? I see a lot of people trying to get in. No key. I don't have an answer for that. No. Sorry. Yeah, I was I was there recording a little video for that happening. Oh, okay, because you know it was observed Christmas for banks too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I heard a lot of people say, "Thank you." Yeah. We're recording a yeah a little video for you people to you know see. You know, what to do when you get to the post office. I mean, sir, I'm assuming you're on the phone, but you do know it's a federal crime to record in a post office, right? No, what is it? It is. It's a federal crime. You can be arrested. It's a federal crime? Mm -hmm. Do you have a you have a law for that? Parece que me está diciendo la señora que no puedo grabar en público. Uh, If you are filming, I, I, I better not be on the film. I do not give permission for me to be on. I don't know I need permission from, from people to, to record in public. Because I'm telling you I don't give permission for my face to be on your camera. But we're in public. But you're not supposed to film in here. This is a public this lobby. Is not, this is not a public not place. not supposed to be federal, in here. This is a federal building. This is not a... This is a public lobby. It's a, it's a federal building. 
Do you know your first amendment? I do. What what's what's the first? Uh, call me the the first amendment of the constitution. I'm just recording some for people, you know, to come and, and see the service that we have in our town. You're not allowed. She had just told you that. That it's a crime to do that in here. I don't think it's a crime. What, what crime that would be? I don't understand what crime, what crime I'm committing right now. You know, I come to conduct business. I want to record what, what I do. And I want you guys to know, you know, what you do, too. You know, like when you're in your house, you want to know what kind of service, you know, the post office provides. Because I don't have a bulletin about this. The First Amendment of the Constitution allows you to record in public. This is not a public building. This is a federal It building. is a public lobby. You ha you're allowed to be here. It's a federal place, and it has federal laws attached to it. What are the laws? You're not allowed to film in here, obviously. Call me the law. No, you can say. She knows what she's talking about. But you can say it. You're not, you're not allowed. But call me the law that says. I'm going to say yes because I don't know. You did confirm that yeah. I texted you. Yeah, that's fine. I just don't know what uh, what crime I committed right now. And if you guys threaten to call the police, they're gonna they're gonna do harm. <laughs> the police do harm to people when they being called. They kick you and they punch, you. they put handcuffs on you. I don't want that to happen to me. Well, then stop filming like she asked you to. But this is a public lobby. Okay, well, you, you fight it out with the police then when they come. You guys are not the First Amendment, that's why. Where, where is the law that prohibits me from doing it? Yeah, but I'm in a public lobby. No, this is our lobby. What, why am I not supposed to, why am I not allowed? Yeah, but what crime am I committing right now? What, the, the, I know you, I, the, I know it is a federal building, but what is the crime that I'm committing right now? Call me the law that says that I'm not allowed to film here. See, so guys, they call the cops on me. They call the cops on me because I'm recording a video in a public lobby of the post office. So I should not leave then. If you guys call in the cops, I should not leave. Guys, I'm in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I'm in the uh, post office. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, these citizens telling me that I'm not allowed to record a video in public. And I'm, a, I'm in the public lobby. Uh, not interacting with anybody. I'm just recording. You know what we have in, in Hazleton, what, uh, what people are allowed to do in, in at the post office, the service they provide, the language they speak. And uh, now this lady telling me that I need to leave because they're not allowed recording in public in Hazel, the post office.
So I guess I have to wait for the police now because I don't want to think, I don't want them to think that, I, that I'm running from them. So I'm going to be hanging out here for a little bit until, I guess until the police shows. Which I know they, they probably pretty quick. I guess this is my first amendment, first amendment audit uh, in Hazleton. <clears throat> Uh, I'm inside the post office. Excuse me. What, what is your name that you call the cops? You call the cops? Yeah. Okay, so they waiting. They they coming. So I should wait for them. What is your name? You. I found out. You 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 can give me your name. I feel very uncomfortable. A lot of people probably feel uncomfortable when they're on camera, but it's up to you how you're going to look on my video. Because I, I have the right to be here. This is my first amendment right to be here. So you're not going to give me your name? Here comes the cops now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them right here, right where I was at. The lady didn't want to give me her name. Okay, guys, we have post office in Hazleton. She didn't want to give me her name. And they said that I'm not allowed to be here. Recording videos in public. Tenemos, tenemos que aprender de la Constitución, muchachos. Eh, de que se nos da este derecho de grabar en público. ¿Por qué? Eh, parece que ellos no entienden de la, de la ley escrita en la Constitución. Entonces vamos a... Vamos a esperar que venga la policía para ver qué nos dice, porque estoy haciendo mi primera auditoría en Hazel y parece que no están pasando con números reales. Entonces... Este es el contenido que estoy preparándole, muchachos, para que ustedes... Vamos a pasarlo hasta que venga la policía para que no se ni me haga muy largo el video. I wonder what the cops said when they call. We have a guy at the lobby recording, committing a crime of recording a video. Guys, I started in Hazelton. I started this one in Hazelton, so I'm going to be moving along, maybe Tamaqua, maybe... Uh, you know, going around, you know, the closest uh, post office and public buildings, guys. So, police is here. We have city Hazleton police on scene. Let's see what's, what happened. Let's see what's going to happen. Thank you, sir. I thought once inside a federal building. No. No. This is the First Amendment. For you, you have the First Amendment to report. There is no wiretap. There is no wiretap law here. Oh, good. I can get your name now. He can, he can read 
Officer. No, you guys came for me. I, I need you guys name your best numbers. I don't know if we're here for you or not yet. Yes, you, you guys go for me. Hello, hi, how are you? Can we speak with you for a minute? Or yeah. whoever's in charge or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I sure. want four names and four badge numbers. Okay. I want four names and four. Well, after our investigation is completed, so thank we'll have you. all of our badge numbers. Thank, That's thank you. All right. Let me go get some. All right. Thank you. If you have that much time, freaking yeah, I gotta pick up way too much. Well, this is this is important for you to do to read the constitution. No, I know, I know. It's very important. I lawfully carry my gun wherever. That way, we can avoid things like this happening. You know, wasting resources and and, and calling the police on people that have the right to record. That's wasting resources. Yeah, I I I need some help. So I have a, post, a, a, a package that was pre-approved to be sent out. However, for some reason, it will not let me print it. So if I could read I open it up for you, ma'am. No, that's okay. No, go ahead. No, that's okay. No, I'll let you out. Come on. I said thank you. I've been a gentleman. I don't open the door for you. Come on. Your, your picture is already on the internet. Don't touch don't. me, please. Take my picture off. Just don't touch me, lady. I don't want to be on that phone. Okay, sounds good. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Castro, Corporal Kishel, City. All right. Corporal who? Kishel. Kishel. 183. They don't want you here. Okay, they called for our assistance. Okay. Okay. Apparently, just serving the customers. So just a quick reminder, this is the officer that Mario dealt with before. Here's a little video showing that interaction. Right What's your name and best number? Your name right now. What is your name and best number? I'm giving you one chance to give me your name or I'm going to put you in cuffs and take you to City Hall. Report. 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 They asked you to, to, to politely stop filming, which you didn't, but they have any reason or excuse or whatever or want if you're not here or whatever then they want you to leave so you're well i came to here leave. to conduct business and well, then i record the video they don't want your business today maybe tomorrow you can well they already try. got my business i got oh. the receipt right here well then that's fine then you're, you're good not... to go then well, if, I, do if i'm good. good to go i'm good to stay no you're not good to stay i'm not they good to stay to why why i'm not allowed to stay because they don't want you here and they have the right are to you guys you violating my first amendment right to be here your First Amendment right? What do you mean, First Amendment right? I have the right to be here recording in public. And you guys, you're about to violate my right. Actually, record, recording in public, it's, we're not here because you're recording in public. We're here because you're trespassing. Trespassing? Why I'm trespassing? Because I asked you to leave and you didn't. No, because now, I'm now we're asking you to leave oh, say. on behalf of them. Okay. And you're refusing. Are you refusing or not? I'm refusing? not refusing to, to okay. leave. I just want to you 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 know your names and badge number. What's your name? Officer Keller, badge number 185. Officer McGinnis, badge number 208. Officer Yannick, badge number 218. And you are again? Kishel 183. You are my video. Gotcha. That's and fine. My, first, my very first video. So I'm, I'm leaving, but I'm, I want you guys to know that you guys violated my First Amendment right. Okay. Whatever you believe. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right, Thank you. Have a good day. All right, buddy. Thank you. Happy Take holidays. care. All right. No problem, man. Okay, guys. I'm leaving right now. So this is my First Amendment audit in Hazelden. Now we have Hazelton Cops. And. What? Yeah, I'm good. No. You're good, sir. All right, guys. Uh, I'm leaving because I've been advised to, uh, that I'm being transferred from this location. So I guess uh, I'm going to hang on here for a little bit. I'll wait for the, for the cops. I'm walking out. And uh, you guys heard, uh, I don't have the, I don't have a right to be there. They kicked me out, so now I'm gonna be out. And this is gonna be my first amendment audit in 
in Hazleton, guys. So I'm gonna be here. And this is all for you guys, for uh, people that come to Hazleton and, uh, and, and wanna know about, oh, and I'm, <laughs> hey, come back and tell me. And uh, we're gonna be here, guys. We, I'm sorry? Oh, no, 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 I'm just recording a little video here. Okay. You, what do you think about they kicking me out of there for recording? You, what do you think? What do you think? You have, she have probably don't know knowledge of that constitution, guys. It's sad. It's sad that, that we, uh, that I'm a uh, uh, Latin, uh, Latino. Es, 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 es vergüenza que sea Latino yo y que venga a un pueblo como Hazelton, eh, donde supuestamente se respeta la constitución y, y son muy patriotas y muy todo. Y tenemos aquí esta gente que no respeta la Constitución. So overall, I would say Mario did a great job. I know a lot of people go, well, you know, get arrested, fight it out. You know, it's easy to say that, but it doesn't really work that well when you have to pay for the lawyers. You know what the judge is going to do. Even if it gets dismissed, he still has to go to jail, bond out. You know, he can make his point this way, and then uh, if people do their part and help out and, and make calls and petition to get things changed, we can, in fact, change that way. So I hope that you guys understand that, you know, if, if, if we as auditors get arrested every time that that chance comes up, we will have a heavy burden. It'll just wear people out, especially... Um, the financial aspect of it. These audits and stuff take, take a lot out of you, especially if you have fines and bail, the gas money to go there and all that. So, you know, look at the big picture before you criticize somebody for not getting arrested every time. So anyway, till the next one, I'm out. Please rate, comment, share, subscribe, support. We appreciate all of it. Shalom.